If you're wondering what attack strategies are crushing right now at Town Hall 14, I reached out to the clan mates and said, what's working best for you? What strategies are you guys using that you're seeing the most success with, whether you're pushing Legends League or inside of War? Today, I'm gonna share with you exactly what's working inside of our clan. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and let's dive into the first attack strategy being used right here by King Push in Legends League with his attack. Now, he's been into these super bowlers. I did feature this attack strategy last week on the channel exclusively. If you missed the video, go check it out. But essentially it's a super bowler smash strategy. Coming in with the siege machine over in the eastern Love side that. of the base. We're gonna have a grand warden walk starting as well. And I'm anticipating it starts down below. Everything is wide open we're gonna have to see nothing up top oh, actually it is starting in the top portion of the base there we go so he went in from the top instead of what i would have done which means he's probably gonna do better than i would have done i always make the wrong choices i don't know but he's coming in with this nice warden walk i like it you know the warden can jump over the walls so really walls are no issue worked out really well plus there were no exterior buildings on the outside of the base over there either now a beautiful funnel is being set here look at that siege machine just completely funneling down clearing out this eastern side of the base even some witches there to help support it as well oh i like that which is behind the siege such a good idea i don't ever do that but maybe i should the super bowlers the heroes, the warden, and the healers are all gonna dive into the center of the base together. Notice the Grand Warden's ability was used. This town hall is gonna go down. It's gonna drop a, a poison bomb. And those Super Bowlers are going right inside of it, raging up the Super Bowlers, but not only them, also the healers as well, to allow the healers to really add that health to those Super Bowlers. It's working out beautifully right now as the bowlers make their way around. This, I mean, honestly, guys, this is probably the strategy that I've seen crushing more bases than any over here in Point of Break. These guys have been crushing it in war multiple different times, many different uses with this strategy, and it really does just, just demolish the bases. I like how he's got all this cleanup coming behind those Yeti, which came out of the Siege unit. You got the Queen. I love the skin, too. Remember to use code ECHO whenever you buy your season pass, your gold pass, or anything inside of any Supercell game. Hook up a brother, guys. Thank you so much. So right now, it's just cleaned up the rest of the base, and I would have to say that out of all the attacks that we're gonna look at here today, this strategy, although not one that I see as much success with, is one that is overwhelmingly crushing bases right now at Town Hall 14. The next strategy we're here to look at is the hybrid strategy. For this strategy, you're coming in with a heavy queen walk into the base, Followed it up with a nice funnel, then the miners and hog riders with the Grand Warden and the Champion. This strategy, it's probably one of the most popular of all time, especially when you get really good with that Queen Charge. Now look at this, a couple of miners are coming in, lowering that clan castle. Then we're going to have the Queen. She's starting up top right by that dark storage. Again, this is another Legends League attack done by, oh no, Hoitoro 2. Sorry if I butchered your name. I tried. I really did. Now, look at this. Witches are coming out of the clan castle. So he's going to have to deal with those, not only the skeletons, but the witches themselves. So we need to be careful not to just poison all the skeletons and then leave the uh, leave the witches to survive. Beautiful placement of that poison spell. Couldn't have done it any better. The queen can move on. I love the baby dragon support there as well. He's got some siege units. He looks like he has a siege barracks selected. Let's see if that's what he goes with here on the attack. Essentially, what happens is queen on one side you determine which side of the base she's going to walk along then you set your siege barrack with your king on the other side and you funnel right into the middle let's see how that goes oh love this the queen being able to dive into that massive compartment super wall breaker use was clutch those are literally the best super troops in the game are the wall breakers crazy right you would think that it was something stronger no Super wall breakers are clutch. No more wall breaker fails for me. Uh, I don't think so. All right, so we have the queen. You have the queen doing her walk, narrowing down the base. Now the grand warden coming in with the hogs and the miners. You need to be careful that those hogs and miners don't get killed when they're by those scatter shots. Scatter shots do a lot of, of damage and I've seen way too many hogs and miners just completely die. Now we do have a split of the troops right here. Nice job with the freeze spell on the multi-inferno, uh, single target inferno, I'm sorry. Queen's gonna continue her way in the top of the base. 
Hogs are coming out of the siege barracks around the eastern side. They're going to storm everything. I love that the miners went to the town hall with the royal champion and just took that down. Now it's a straight shot down the rest of the base just to clean everything else up. Abilities used. Hogs with green hammers going through and crushing the rest of this base. There's an invisibility, a rage, a queen's ability, two minions, another super wall breaker, whew, and sneaky goblins left in the composition to shred everything that's left right here. Really nice example of how to do hybrid right. Love the use of the queen right there to get that single target inferno off of her. Probably could have popped her ability right through it, but instead go with the spell, swag the ability, beautiful attack right here. Definitely one that you have to try, that you've probably tried already, but you probably need to improve on it like me. Next up, we have Fierce Fire coming in through the air with this one. You have dragons, you have balloons, you have dragon riders. It's like a Hydra attack strategy right here. Dragons, dragon riders, and balloons are going to crush the bases, right? The balloons are going to go after defenses, but they're very weak. You have the dragon riders also going to go after defenses, and you have the dragons, which are going to clean up and kind of just take out everything along the way, including heroes you may encounter. Now, I like that the balloons are going to be dropped in front. That's going to keep these dragons just a little bit safer. Grand Warden's going in with them and the blimp straight for that town hall. Now you have that other dragon up top, just gonna keep this funnel, this narrowed uh, base going through. Nice job, here we go, rage spell, and it looks like he's got a Yeti bomb inside there as well. No balloons, I was anticipating a dragon in balloons, which is what I typically do, but he did a nice job coming through right there with the Yeti bomb. You pair a, a blimp with the Yeti bomb, which is two Yeti, a Valkyrie, and a Barbarian with a rage spell, and it's gonna take down the town hall 99.9% .9 of the time, but you need the rage spell. Keep that in mind. If you're not using the rage, you're cutting down your chances of taking it down. Remember the Yeti, they will drop Yetamite upon death. When they're raged up, they drop a ton of damage, but if they're not, they're not gonna have enough if they die prematurely to take down the rest of the base. And I'll tell you what, Fierce Fire, crush this base quickly. This base was done and taken out in very fast, fashion love the attack strategy it's similar to one that i'm using myself i've typically been enjoying going in through the air rather than on the ground and uh well it looks like fierce fire is getting it done as well in legends league with this type of a strategy queen's gonna clean up the back end of the base love the skin by the way hope you use code echo yes fierce fire I'm talking to you hope you use code echo man but there we go cutting it down another triple we got another strategy though let's take a look all right so I had to share this one with you guys. It's another one of the Super Bowl strategies. This one's not done by King Push. It's uh, it's by Hoitoro, but not Hoitoro 2. All right, so this here has five Super Bowlers, a Yeti, five healers, a little bit of a different composition. Love the skin, by the way. Look at that base, looks beautiful. That would actually kind of match the branding here on my channel, wouldn't it? Artist. You know what I mean there. All right, so here we go. We have the Grand Warden starting his walk. We're kind of going through what was done before. Oh my God, look at this funnel being set. Look at the siege machine in the eastern side of the base. Over there, it's completely narrowing everything down. Gonna even be able to beat down that can. Oh, what value with the balloon. There is tons of value in this attack. Then he could either come in from the bottom towards the eagle or straight from the top towards the town hall from a point of the base. Really narrowing it down, doing a great job. Um, I would anticipate the top, although I'm most likely wrong. And, oh, no, he's going to be coming in from the bottom. The wall break has already happened. Super wall breaker came in, opened up that portion of the wall. Grand Warden is making his way slowly but surely. Now, something you have to worry about here is time. You need to make sure that you don't have yourself a time fail as you try and get this base going and get this base taken down properly. King, Ice Golem, Super Bowlers, Queen, Healers, Grand Warden, storming the base. Going to take down that Eagle Artillery really quickly. The Bowlers are going to rip down any any skeletons that may appear the jump spells in place as well he's got the champion coming in from behind also i love that use right there he's got one more rage two more rages one more jump a skeleton spell two freezes and a, and a poison spell wow this is going to be a massive hit i predict there's going to be many troops left over towards the end of this one now healers are looking safe right there bowlers are taking the jump grand warden wouldn't mind seeing the Grand Warden get a little bit of healing, and it looks like he is right there. Beautiful rocket balloons coming out of that clan castle. We have the Queen. The Bowlers are diving into the Town Hall. Oh, Super Minions as well. Shut them down. We need the Queen to assist with that a little bit. Look at these Super Bowlers just shredding everything in the middle, but they don't shred the skies. Those Super Minions can do some damage, but the Queen took them down, and the rest of his base is gone. My goodness. Rocket Balloon, a couple of Yeti coming out of the Siege Machine as well. What a crushing attack right there. Beautifully done. Whew. Super bowlers, guys. 
The Super Bowlers are pretty incredible and they are crushing Town Hall 14. If you didn't see my previous video highlighting this strategy exclusively, go check it out. It's on the channel and really learn how to be successful with the Super Bowlers. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to use code ECHO whenever you're buying your season pass inside of Clash of Clans, Brawl Stars, or any Supercell game. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for more Clash of Clans and other mobile games. Have a great day and be good.